Buckingham Palace has refused to explain why Prince Edward took a private jet potentially costing taxpayers at least £10,000 for two trips of less than 300 miles. Tenth in line to the throne Edward, styled the Earl of Wessex, has been slammed for a blatant abuse of public money after the extravagance of his trips. The Queen's youngest son, 54, travelled from Hampshire, the palace will not say where, to Birmingham Airport yesterday morning before attending an event in Tamworth marking the death 1,100 years ago of Anglo-Saxon ruler Ethelflaed. Later in the day he returned south, going from Birmingham Airport to Bournemouth in Dorset to attend an event in Poole in the evening. The normal cost to hire a Cessna Citation XL private jet which Edward used to fly between the West Midlands city and the south coast could be between just over £5,000 and tens of thousands of pounds, depending on the day. To fly from Southampton, Hampshire's largest airport, to Birmingham costs between about £5,000 and tens of thousands of pounds, likewise depending on the day. A first-class train ticket from Hampshire to Birmingham would have cost around £250 per person. A normal ticket would have been under £100. Last night Graham Smith from the anti-monarchy campaign group Republic blasted the Earl of Wessex's extravagance with public funds. He told Mylonline, this is a blatant abuse of public money. If that were an MP they'd be in serious hot water. We need to look more seriously at the extravagance of the royals. He should be taking public transport or cars at a fraction of the cost. Edward's exact itinerary was not made clear by palace officials, who did not disclose where he started and ended the day yesterday. They also refused to explain why he needed to take a plane. Speaking to Mylonline, a palace spokesperson said, The Earl of Wessex is undertaking a three-day program of events, including a national service of commemoration, and engagements in support of the DOF. As ever, security, effective use of time, and the need to minimize disruption to others is taken into account when decisions are taken about transport. Edward was in Windsor on Monday and was pictured landing in Birmingham yesterday lunchtime. He has engagements in Poole, Dorset today. The Queen had carried out 25% more engagements in the first half of this year than she did in the same period of 2017. According to the blog Right Royalty, she has undertaken an impressive 125 official duties since January. Although many are now being held behind palace walls, with official making attempts to curtail strenuous travel, it is still a remarkable achievement for someone of her age. Prince Charles topped the list of the busiest royals of 2018 with 83 engagements in May alone and more than 250 since the start of the year. Princess Anne was hot on his heels with more than 200. By contrast new father William was seventh in the Royal League table with just under 100 engagements. Prince Harry, however, failed to even make the top 10. The three-day program will be focused on Dorset, with Prince Edward visiting Sunseeker International, a luxury yacht company, this afternoon, before attending dinner at Brownsea Castle. Tomorrow he will visit Canford School in Wimborne, and on Thursday he will visit the Canford Real Tennis and Squash Club. Prince Edward completed 285 royal engagements in 2017, meaning he was the fifth busiest royal. The royals undertook 3,609 engagements in total. Edward missed trooping the colour on Saturday after returning from a visit to Hong Kong on the same day. However, his wife Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, and daughter Lady Louise, 14, both attended the traditional parade marking the Queen's birthday. Edward's medals could be seen on display as he was driven from the airport to the service yesterday. He joined the Royal Marines in 1986 after graduating from the University of Cambridge with a 2-2 in history. He had been allowed on the elite course despite earning A-level grades far below what is usually required. Edward, however, did not stay in the Marines, dropping out in 1987 after barely beginning his training. 
He was attending a service at Tamworth's at St. Editha's Church to mark the 1100th anniversary of the death of Ethelflaed, who ruled the ancient kingdom of Mercia for seven years from the year 911 until her death. She was the eldest daughter of Alfred the Great, who was king of the Anglo Saxon Kingdom of Wessex. A number of events have been held to commemorate Ethelflaed's death, including a funeral procession through Gloucester earlier this week. Ethelflaed, Lady of the Mercians, ruled the Anglo Saxon Kingdom of Mercia from 911 until her death in 918. Mercia was centered around what is today known as the Midlands, and had Tamworth as its capital. 